much. Hey, how's it going? So we're uh, headed down here to, it's called Yana's, and it's a halo halo shot. It's the uh, Filipino kind of Sunday specialty thing, and this is supposed to be a really good shot for it. They specialize in it, so it should be really good. And uh, we're just checking out, but we're just walking down through the barangay, uh, and they have all sorts of stuff going on. So. Oh. Hi. There you go. Hi. Hello. Right on. So we're it's down here on the left, I think. Hi. We'll check it out. Hey, boys. Hey, boys. All right. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully it's coming up here soon. Who knows? But anyways, we'll find it. Cool stuff though. Lots of motorcycle tires. All sorts of stuff. Mechanic shop. Boys are fixing things in there. Hey, yeah. Right on. And hopefully we'll run into this Halo Halo shop down here. maybe up here on the left hey how's it going i'm here with all the kids in the neighborhood they hooked me up and brought me to the halo halo shop so i'm going to be getting my first halo halo here in the philippines and it's being made right now Wanagi, you want some halo halo no she doesn't want any say hi you guys hi how's on thank you so much look at that oh my god look at that we're gonna try that mix it so you mix it really good yeah yeah mix so we're gonna try this, give me a second. Thank you so much. Okay, so I'm almost out of batteries. So we just mix it, yeah? Stay right here though. All right, so we're gonna give it a try. Oh my God. So good. Oh my god, that's really good. Wow. My first halo halo in the Philippines. Amazing. It's got all sorts of bits and pieces in there. Nuts, oatmeal, looks like crushed ice. There's pieces of chewy fruit. Oh my god, so good. Right on. Camera's almost done, the batteries are almost done. But we'll be back, we're gonna go try another place too. Hey, so how's it going? So we're treating all the kids to a little coco. Right yeah. It's even his little Winagi's treat for everyone. Uh, she's gonna sponsor this one for them all. So it'll be good. And then we're gonna get ourselves another Halo Halo here. Uh, but I'm gonna cut out because battery's gonna die. Thanks for joining us. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell, and get notified of future videos, and then leave comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. Peace out. So we got our second Halo Halo because they're so good, amazing. But look, here, Winagi, you want some? Look, she even likes that stuff, right? Right? So that's that's Winagi approved Halo Halo. Say hi, everyone. Hi. Right on. All right, we're out. We're going to eat this thing. See you in a bit. So I bought them all ice cream, and now they won't go. <laughs> They're following me home! <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, I, I guess I, uh, I got a bunch of kids now. <laughs> What's your name, Jonathan? <laughs> Say goodbye! Goodbye! I want some boys! <laughs> Perfect. Happy kids. That's the way they should be. Hold on. First things first. So I put some oil in here and then I get the red curry in there just kind of cooking. Uh, probably going to lower that temperature. We're going to add coconut milk to this so the curry doesn't burn. You can cook it for a little bit and you'll know when it's ready because it basically the oil of the curry starts floating to the surface. And make sure you shake your coconut milk up in the cans really well because it's definitely sitting on a store shelf it uh, separates sometimes oh that's gonna be so good oh, oh my gosh yeah 
yeah, look at this. You gotta see this. Look at that. Oh my god, it's gonna be so good. So coconut cream too, because I like it a little thicker. It's about the same, but look at that. Oh yeah. And you want to do about two tablespoons of that red curry to two cans of this. I think these are like, are they like 14 ounce cans? And then what you do is just mix that all together. And then what you'll know the coconut melt and the curry are mixed good and it's ready to go is you'll see the, the oil of the curry rise to the surface of the milk and pool on the surface of the milk. It'll be like this uh, semi-transparent reddish oil. And then you know the fragrance of the curry has saturated the oil basically. So then the next thing we're gonna do is get the veggies ready. So I just wanna show you this, look, you can see. See the little orange spots around there? I think you can see them. That's the, uh, the oils from the curry coming up, the red curry. I'm gonna make sure you keep stirring this every now and then so it don't burn. I got it on pretty low heat though. I'll start off low and then I'll ramp it up here. But just give them a good rub down pesticides they might have used or dirt that's left on the carrots. I'm not meat. I usually do carrots and bell peppers. Usually the reds, but I got a green and a red I'll probably use. And then I got some green beans and I've got some basil too I'm gonna put in there near the end just to really kick it up with some flavor. And then we'll just use this and we'll actually I'm gonna just fill this bowl with carrots. Then we'll just uh, use Use the the this brothy stuff with the vegetables in it, and just add it to rice here and there. And they'll probably get about four or five meals out of it, I'm sure. So it'll be healthy and good, and tasty, and save some money. I mean, yes, it costs money to get all this stuff, but in the long run, actually, probably don't save that much money. Because but with Nate locally, it's so cheap here to eat. Oh my God, like literally two dollars for a pork chop some rice and gravy basically. I forget what it's called, but it's really good. Dropping carrots! Your love is like an ocean, ready to take sand, swept the... Those oils are starting to come to the top of the coconut cream and coconut milk. No need to get out. Chopped up all our vegetables. We've got the green beans and then the red bell peppers in this. A ton of carrots. We've got sliced up onions and then a bunch of this Thai basil I'm gonna add to it. And then I've already put the chicken down in there and I'm just gonna let the chicken cook in that coconut milk and the uh, red curry paste for a little bit. And then we're gonna add some raw sugar. This is raw sugar right here and we raw sugar to taste. So the red curry, the sugar brings out the uh, flavors of the curry. Uh, Mexican food, you use salt and that helps, but in most, a lot of Thai dishes, you're using sugars or soy or things like that in Chinese food, and that really bangs out the flavors of the spices. Indian food, again, uh, they use uh, sugars in Indian food and then also uh, salt and stuff to bang the flavors out of the marsala. Like chai, chai wouldn't taste good if you didn't add sugar to it because there's just, the, the flavors of the spice just don't come to the surface without the sugar. Anyways, that's my story, I'm sticking to it. We'll show you step by step as we go. Hey also, see I got a haircut today? How cool is that, huh? Look at that. Got a haircut. Eee, looking pretty sharp there. Got a haircut. Guess how much my haircut cost? Guess. 200 pesos. That's roughly $4 for a haircut. Here. That's for men and women. <laughs> Crazy. Oh my god. I gave him 300 pesos because he did such a good job and I was so stoked to pay so little bit of money for a haircut. So 
basically it cost me six bucks for an awesome haircut. Um, pretty stoked. Anyways. Yeah. So we want to start adding the onions. They'll be next. And the carrots because they'll take the longest to cook. But the onions will add to the flavor of the chicken. And then we'll add the sugar. It'll be at the very end once everything's cooked down because the sugar won't take long to cook. The chicken's almost cooked. It's cooking in the coconut milk and the coconut cream and then the red curry paste that I put in there. Um, so we're gonna probably, the carrots are gonna take the longest to cook. So we're gonna add those carrots. And then the onions, we want them to cook down and get semi-translucent. Woo! Get in there, onions. There we go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We're probably gonna start with about four tablespoons of sugar let that simmer for a while and then we'll come back and taste and we might end up adding some more. One. There's two for that first one. There's three. What is that? Oh, that's not a cockroach. Not sure what that is. Not a cockroach. <laughs> Hey, a little extra protein in there. No, it wasn't a cockroach. This sugar hasn't been open. It was probably just a, a piece of cane or something that hadn't processed. Boy, oh, that chicken's cooking good in there. So here, we'll check it out. It's looking pretty good. Got the onions down in there. We've got the chicken in there and the uh, carrots, and the carrots take the longest to cook out of all the vegetables, so I think uh, be a couple more minutes. And then we'll add the green beans and the bell peppers, which will add more fluid to it when they start cooking. The fluid, the water, and the vegetables will start coming out. And then the final thing will be adding this uh, purple Thai basil which will be amazing. So looky, oh, if you could only smell this, it's just bubbling. I got everything in there, all the vegetables, and I just put that basil in there on the top, and uh, it tastes so good. Oh my God, it's so yummy. So I turned the temperature way down, and we're just gonna let that simmer in there for a while. The chicken's plenty cooked, uh, the vegetables will be nice and cooked, and then, uh, yeah, we'll just put it over some rice, and then it'll be yummy. And then we'll probably store it in the fridge and then uh, just kind of have it over the next couple days. Vlog dog and 
and uh, we're gonna go through the vegetable market right here real quick and let you check it out. It's pretty awesome. Better than shopping in the supermarkets. A lot better prices, a lot better goods. So here, come along with us. Let's go. Dog, we're down here in Manila, Philippines. This is the main intersection here. We live just up the street, but in all directions there's stuff. Cross the street, Mega Mall, down this way, tons of little restaurants and shops and things. Uh, everything we need to get accomplished is uh, within a few blocks. Copies, uh, all sorts of cool stuff. So anyways, we're gonna just continue touring around, join us, and uh, get, get the street level view of Bonagi Cam. You ready, honey? Okay, come on. I wanted to show you the local bakery shop here. Check it out right here. All these little bakeries in here, amazing stuff. Every morning we come here and grab something different for our coffees, but check them out. 